What's up everybody? Today we're looking at a deck that I showcased almost a month ago. It was actually the deck that I played the Infant last season. Had a ton of success with it and then I was looking back at it and I was like, hey, why did I ever stop playing this deck? I had a lot of success. It was strong. Oh, that's right, because like two days after <laughs> I played it to Infinite, Leech became a 4-2 and became a nightmare. But I'm not going to say that Leech is completely gone. In fact, I lost four cues by getting snapped on turn five yesterday to a Leech and had to leave with my tail tucked between my legs. But he's definitely a lot more scarce, and this deck has went back to doing very well for me. So let's take a look at the deck. So after reaching infinite with the Namora on reveal deck, decided to play another deck that heavily focuses on getting all of its stats from on reveal cards. And we're playing the Thor's deck. It's running Thor, Beta Ray Bill, and the Lady Thor. If you remember, like I said, I ran a very similar version to this to infinite last season. A couple days later, Leech became a 4-2, and we never went back to the deck until yesterday i was like hey let's see what it's like in a world where i'm not getting leached every game and it performed very well this version performed the best for me out of 12 games had a 75 percent win rate but the other two versions they performed similarly well and i do think one of the versions will probably be the best version for at least the next week or so but we will talk about that and substitutions so the reason that this deck can perform so well at times is because it is able to contest and put decent stats into all three lanes that's something that is very important in a meta where professor x is just about in every deck making them not feel as confident in their professor x lane when they know that you can put more stats into your thor and beta ray bill we also have the miss marvel that can put more stats into the lane and we're also running the odin now so we can catch our opponents off guard with a double trigger of the hammers heck as long as nothing happens to beta ray bill a double trigger on stormbreaker will put him at 24 power alone so not too shabby but the other reason this deck can do so well is because in this game tech is king tech cards are how you get those four and eight cube games from your opponent and this deck is able to run any tech card to fit your needs at the moment outside of that core shell of the three thors and miss marvel you can really build this deck however you want if you notice i've got a ton of tech cards in here we've got shadow king we've got quake who you all always hear me say is the mvp swapping those locations around a killmonger a mobius shang chi you could easily fit in red guardian for mobius if you wanted or an enchantress for shang chi which I'm actually going to recommend in a moment. But being able to play those hammers out and put good stats on the board while also playing tech cards, yeah, that's really hard to deal with and definitely a key component to why this deck can do so well. So as I mentioned, this is the version of the Thor's deck that performed the best for me yesterday. I tried three different versions out. They all did well, but this one is the one that had the best stats. But I'm going to make a couple recommendations. You could take them or leave them. In that White Widow slot, last season, I originally had Maximus here. Maximus is a great statted card that you would play out on turn six. As I always say, you don't play him out till turn six. But because we're playing Odin a lot of the times as our finisher, really don't need Maximus. And I also don't like having a card in my hand that I can't play out for tempo. So originally, I swapped out Maximus for Lizard. And too many times, Lizard was just ending up being a 2-1, and that's how we got to the White Widow. She's usually a 2-2 that also clogs up a spot on my opponent's side of the board. But what I'm going to recommend this first week especially, there's going to be a lot of Gilgamesh decks, a lot of Blue Marvel, Kazar, things like that. Heck, Thanos is kind of around now. There's some ongoing abilities you want to get rid of, and then especially if you get mashed up into a Living Tribunal, it's all ongoing. So what I would say... Get rid of the White Widow, put the Lizard back, and then in place of Shang-Chi, I would run Enchantress. That way you can actually Enchantress your Lizard if you want, and you don't have to worry about losing the four power. Or if you'd rather just stick with the White Widow, still put the Enchantress in for Shang-Chi. I think you might get a lot more value out of Enchantress, at least for the next week or so, than Shang-Chi. But heck, if you want to have both, I guess you drop the Odin and you put you know either the lizard or maxims back in and you put enchantress in place of odin everything else i really like like i said you could definitely drop mobius and run red guardian if you're not finding a whole lot of need but there's a ton of ravana ren slayer there are the loki decks here and there that you're gonna get matched up against so i do like having the mobius killmonger definitely has to stay so a lot of one drops here now so definitely like to have that and definitely good into thanos getting rid of those stones but yeah so that's my recommendation even though this one performed the best i think you want to run enchantress inside of this list and if you're running enchantress you probably want to drop the white widow and bring in the lizard but those are just my recommendations definitely fine tune and build the deck around your needs i'm really enjoying having odin in the list now just catching my opponents off guard by double triggering the hammers but you can do a couple other things too you can get a double trigger off on killmonger or shang chi 
your opponent thinks they're safe and then you re-trigger the Killmonger. That's always a classic. Definitely love that one. One last thing, since I tend to always forget about mentioning this when I'm showcasing a deck, one of the biggest weaknesses, if not the biggest weakness or counter to your deck, even more so than a well-timed leech, is honestly just Magneto. All of your power, your stats, Beta Ray Bill, Thor, Miss Marvel, they're all three and four cost cards that can be moved and manipulated by Magneto. If you've got a Ms. Marvel in the middle and you're hoping to win the side lanes with her, Magneto can easily move that around. And in fact, just a random Magneto coming back from Hella into the worst location ever has cost me quite a few games. Worst case scenario, he moves Miss Marvel, Beta Ray, and Thor all into the same lane, and then you have no stats in the other two lanes. So just something to keep in mind. I do like to mention some of your bad matchups and the things that can really disrupt you. And I'm also gonna mention, since I know it's gonna come up, if you don't have Beta Ray Bill, Thor, Lady Thor, even Ms. Marvel, play something else. Don't play this deck. You can't play a deck without those cards. You can, you can manipulate all the other eight cards or whatever. If you don't have those four, no substitutions, pick a different deck. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into the gameplay footage. As always, gang, y'all be good, y'all be safe. I will catch you on the next one. Do me that favor, click the like button. Don't forget about it. It helps promote the channel and the video. And if you're not subscribed, love to have you around. I'll see you in the next one. Forget all the new cards. Forget all the new cards. We're gonna play, we're gonna play those old cards. Oh no. It's Husky Puppy. Is he playing Hella? We need to get both Thors to uh, have a shot if he's playing, a, playing Hella. Uh, sure, we'll go, we'll go here. This allows me to have the Miss Marvel proc. Uh, oh. Oh, I got Mobius. This looks like it's getting bounced. Well, I was going to say if we can not have priority going on the final turn, Killmonger will do some damage. But I'm sure he got Beast or Falcon. He'll be pulling some of this. Now I'm kind of hoping we get Shadow King. Again, we didn't get our Thors. Now he can't play another one drop here, which is pretty cool. We're doing this um, to not have priority. He can't play his demons here. Okay. He's going to dump all his power here. We're going to 11. He's losing six, but he can play like a cheap stature and something else. Where are you at, Shadow King? You would have been great for the middle. Yeah, I'll stick in for two. But I would assume he's going to put power here. He knows I can trigger with Miss Marvel. Luckily, he's got the priority here. Blue Marvel would wreck us. I'm not sure if he's running that, but who knows with Husky. Enchantress wrecks us. Okay. Well, we got the win. Got the win. 
Didn't even need the Miss Marvel trigger. Victory. Oof. We're gonna play White Widow. <laughs> I want to hold, but you know, like, I don't know. Probably better to hold, but I'm going to be playing out Thor into beta. Maybe. We're going to be safe. We'll play the Thor out into the middle, not into the unknown. Like I like to do a gamble half the time. That's not, um... This is good. We'll do this. This keeps like no like crazy. Galactus play or something. I want to make sure that I can miss Marvel and not screw anything up. We got the Shang-Chi. We just we gotta get Jane Jane Foster though. We're just gonna be sitting here twiddling our thumbs for a while. Now, I'm glad we got the Mobius out, though, so they're not getting any benefit of Elysium. Face the might of Asgard. No way! Yeah. Is someone else really playing Dude, Thor? And it looks like they may be running Odin. Um, We're going to chill. We're just going to chill. Been a while since I've actually seen someone else, you know, play, play Thor. Probably thinking the same thing over there. What is this deck? How did we get Odin? We don't have priority. We don't want priority. Um... I guess we're going to turn off a possible Odin trigger. This seems bad, though. Oh, well, we can revert the Thor, right? We can revert the Thor. Although we could just shang it. I, I Well, this like really sucks now. So let's do this, this, and this. They're gonna Odin here. No, we're gonna win the right by one point. Mjolnir, to me. Man, you hate to see it. Worthy? We're gonna win the right by one point. Mjolnir, to me. Always forget about Stormbreaker having the one point on it. Victory. All right. Yeah, I got to figure out what's going on with the sound effects in the game. Now, if we get Jane Foster, we definitely would have an easy time filling this up with all the hammers, but not guaranteed yet. May need a Shadow King or a Killmonger to deal with the Nebula. We got Nebula with uh, Red Kirby Crackle going on. Dina. I hope they don't get my shame. Well, we got Jane. Jane, some of his work snapping. Need I need either a Shadow King or a Killmonger for some tech.
We know they have the Miss Marvel. You don't say. You don't say with the quake. We will quake here. Now, what do we need to do? We'll quake here. We got this. We got this. We're going to put all of our power here. We're going to quake here. And we're going to steal from them. Quake MVP, right? Am I doing this right? If Quake goes here, these two swap. We'll put all the hammers here. We're not snapping. We want to have a good video to show, you know. Oh, I wonder if they'll snap me. So Quake, Uno Reverse. I've got priority. We're not really worried about points, I don't think. What y'all think? Y'all like it? We're not worried about points. They're not putting three cards here. Worried about the points here, right? I think we're pretty good. Quake MVP. As long as we don't get Shang-Chi. And we might. That might be what they took from us. It probably is. Is. And then we're gonna points, right? I oh, am. please don't be. It's not. I think they would have stayed if we snapped. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Untapped, but it's definitely, the tracker's definitely not working again. Opponent snapped. I guess they're playing Gilgamesh. Uh-oh. Well, I can Shadow King the Ebony Blade, right? Oh, let me get this off. Oh, I'm going to get it off. We don't even need to, uh, six, 12. They can pull it off with a Magneto. Like if I put a massive beta right here, but putting Killmonger over there doesn't really solve that either. So hope you weren't planning on discarding something big like an infinite. Yeah, Gigano will do that too. So we have um, pretty good play lines here. We could just Shang-Chi here on the final turn, but it looks like we're probably going to have priority. But we can also double up the Beta Ray Bill. Let's just see what happens here. Although, even if we shang chi something big here, Lady Zith would go back. Oh, I cannot believe he goes for that. All right, couple options here. We put Beta Ray Bill at 24 power. If Magneto was to drag him over here, I would get the double points. Other thing is, is we do this. And this. But if he plays anything else right here, I actually think both play lines end with the same result. 
Except if he was to Magneto right here. But then we'd both be at 12 and it'd be a tie and we'd win on point. Or we do this and this. And if he put a 14 over here, this would be 21 and we still win. He's only discarded a Giganto. I kind of like this play, though. I, like I said, I think they're both actually very even in the, the outcome. Actually, no. Uh, I was thinking about Hella right here. Minions to yeah. Me. That's what I was afraid of. Are ye worthy? Because the Shang-Chi would have killed this, but then hell is bigger. Yeah, I, I don't know. Still would have won left and right. Like I said, I think same outcome regardless. Victory. I think this play was a little bit stronger though. I think people are playing move just to uh, crash the game. We're definitely playing White Widow. Why do people always have to have something to play? That's fine. Opponent oh, I was hoping uh, the Killmonger. If we get Shadow King, I think we're okay. We can go ahead and get an early beta out. I was going to say, what y'all think? Should I kill Monger it now? I guess we won't. I should have though, because they're going to have priority now. Oh, and we have uh, Shadow King. No way they don't play Kitty here, so. Snap. They may not play Kitty. So, so how did we lose? I think we're okay. We didn't have priority. Right? There's no way we had priority. Or am I just losing my mind? Freight cubes. I guess I lost my mind at some point. I was thinking Killmonger was going to kill Kitty because they had priority. I got to go back and watch it. I got to go back and watch it. Bay is going to 24. He will. Well, I don't know what he's going to now. Oh, well, there you go. We got it that time. I was pretty sure it was right, but US agent was throwing me off a little bit. I got you, Kitty Pride. <laughs> I got to go back and watch. I thought they had priority. Oh, we got the baby Hulk avatar going on here. All right, we just need Jane Foster. Come on down. 
Oh, this is insanely good. Well, I say that. It's not as insane. Well, there you go. Um... We've got Shadow King, which Shadow King's really not gonna, I don't wanna turn things back. <laughs> Maybe we Shadow King on turn five. Yeah? We'll see, it depends if we get that, that Jane Foster. We got some tech. Okay. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. We really don't want this to happen. We're going for it. We're going for it. 25%. Oh, really? They're just gonna. So if we don't do Jane Falls here, we definitely do the Shadow King. Oh, we, we survived. They got priority. So let's do this. This. Because they're going to move Nocturne. We'll throw a hammer. We'll get it back. We can play another Thor and hammer next turn. Or just trigger it with the Odin. Looking pretty good here, I think. Well, we were. We ever do this? Oh, we swap, we play, we fill. What do we think? Ship it. Face the might of Asgard. And we're hoping like this isn't Shang-Chi and it also dies. God, why is Quake so good? Not that it really mattered, but I mean, it could have because we could have lost the Thor, right? 